Citizens Bank Park, home of the Philadelphia Phillies. Check this out. The new and improved digital scoreboard in the outfield wall. Uh, and there's also a bigger scoreboard up here on the second deck. Today is opening day at spring training. Phillies play at one o'clock, not here in Florida, but today at the ballpark. Rejoice, Philly fanatic, we celebrate. Today is, it's the beginning of baseball season. It's the Philadelphia Water Ice Show here at Citizens Bank Park. That's right. It's this time of year where you get to see and try the new Philadelphia Water Ice flavors. Ice cream everywhere you look. Uh, it's 10.30 in the morning, and I didn't smoke a jazz cigarette, so I'm not really hungry right now. <laughs> Let's see what we got going. I hear you have new uh, water ice flavors. Wow, are they going to be sold here at the ballpark this season? Is, is one of the flavors Captain's Choice? Missing out on the big opportunity. Which one's your favorite? Mermaid Ice. Can I? The Atomic's good? Let me try the Atomic, please. Oh, well, well, well. Well rested and tan. Capri. It's only early, late February. Why wouldn't you be tan? Have you had the mermaid water ice yet? I have not tried them yet. It's too early in the morning. Ooh, I know, I know, I know. I didn't smoke any jazz cigarettes. I'm not ready for this sweet treat. Atomic. What are you doing back here today? Um, I'm not really sure exactly. You just stand here. You answer questions? Yeah. And most of your answers are, I don't know. Let me get someone who knows the answers. There you go. Is this your first, are you, wor is your, are you working today? Is you, you've been here all week. <laughs> So it has like a blue raspberry and a sour cherry. These are pretty good. I don't like sour too much, but it's not horrible. No, I mean it's really good. I, and it's not horrible with the horrible review. I kind of I dig the sour cherry. They have make your own Sunday. Check out this. Look at all the toppings you could put on top. Toppings you could put on top of your sun. Why would you put gummy bears on top of ice cream? There you go. You got the cherries, crushed cherries. Oh wow! I had the the atomic water ice. That's pretty good. good. Sour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's not too sour though. Sour and sweet. Sour? Yeah, it's it's a. You didn't it's take that from Sour Patch Kids. I don't know nothing about them. I don't know what you're talking. So I never had a sour patch kid. If that's what they taste like, they sound delightful. Yeah. I didn't try mermaid yet. I'm not sure if I want a fishy flavored water ice. It's good. Now, there he is. Look at you making pretzels. He's finally working. He, he's finally working. That's funny coming from you. Is that, Such a Kenzo. So is this at the mo oh, is this at the motion? Uh, pretzel boy. Yeah. Wow. I've been doing it since his little. Never changes. Water ice and a pretzel. It's a Kensington breakfast. Uh, hey, how are you? How you doing? doing good. Good, good, good. All right, look at this. Cookies made for ice cream sandwiches. Here they are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you prefer? What do you put your... Um, would you rather have ice cream on a cookie or ice cream on a wa waffle? Cookie. Cookie. Yeah, but it has to be like really gooey, gooey. An ooey, gooey cookie. So you're in charge of making the cookies? Yes. Okay, good. Josh is making pretzels. It's yeah. good. The, 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 the prince and princess of the water ice kingdom working hard. Yeah, the family's working. Are they sprinkles or are they jimmies? Let me know in the comments. Ask me anything. What's the meaning of life? No? Uh, no. Are they sprinkles or are they jimmies? Jimmies. Very good. Thank you. See, you can ask him any. Oh, about deliveries. Damn it. I didn't read the fine print. You a question? Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Are they sprinkles or are they jimmies? 100% jimmies. Never call them sprinkles. Who calls them sprinkles? Not us. Not us. Not us. Not us in the water ice industry. Are you scooping water ice? I'm not really sure. Well, that's so weird to see you actually scooping water ice because you never scoop water ice. 
when I worked, me and Capri used to work together at the ballpark, and we had a deal. She would ring up all the sales, and I would scoop all the orders. I worked both registers, and you would just scoop everything. Yeah, it worked out really well. I, I got, you didn't need nobody else. We no. didn't need six people on a stand. We needed two. Well, these, these kids today, Capri, they don't know anything. No. And there it is. Look at that. The 1980 World Series trophy. There's Bryce Harper's MVP award. Jimmy Rollins. Ryan Howard. Chuck Klein. Check out this uh, bar at the ballpark. I never really get to go in this section. This is where the... Uh, Executives eat lunch. Dave Montgomery. Here's a picture. This is a picture of Veteran Stadium, the Spectrum, and JFK Stadium. None of those buildings exist anymore. And now we have Citizens Bank Park, Lincoln Financial Field, and the Wells Fargo Center. This is where the Spectrum used to be. Unicorn, here we go, scooping. I think this might be the first time I've ever seen you scoop water ice. Hey, how are you? This is my helper right here. Oh, is she? There you go. There you go. I'm losing my position now. Oh, you're, oh. I'm, I'm done scooping. How old are you? Eight. Eight? 18. You need to Google, no, child, Google child labor laws, right Capri? <laughs> You know, Philadelphia Water Ice, they don't just sell Water Ice, they make slushies. And if you have a business and you want to sell Philadelphia Water Ice or Philadelphia slushies, uh, let me find a thing. Let me Listen, if I lived anywhere in the country, I could sell Philadelphia Water Ice, right? All I have to do is call one eight 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 sell ice or philawaterice.com. I'll have a link in the description. If they call, do they talk to you? Yep, ask for Matt. Ask for Matt. If yep. you ask for Matt and you tell them the captain sent you, I will get a free scoop of water ice every time you order one. Yeah, so Philadelphia Water Ice, they have this new half gallon of water ice. How exciting. <laughs> Cherry vanilla gelati. Wow. Well, these are experimental. Oh, these are so just a, the flavors that we have. Oh, these are real water ice flavors? Can I have a scoop of the mystery flavor? Let me just get one. I'll try it. Just one scoop. Uh, the one that looks like mango. Mystery flavor. Oh, thank you. Cinnamon? Definitely cinnamon. No, no, no. The only, yeah. Big red? Are you going for big red? Tastes like big red chewing gum. Looks like mango water ice. But now I'm going to leave the water ice show and I'm going to go to a baseball card show and hopefully, fingers crossed, I get to talk to Angelo Cataldi. Here we are. The Brotherly Love card show. Up here, it's up these steps. This is the Pennsylvania Convention Center back in... WrestleMania 15, so 25 years ago, the WWE had their first, like, show before a WrestleMania, and it took place inside this building, uh, in this room. Vince McMahon, be careful, <laughs> he may take a crap on you. Uh, Vince McMahon stood up there, Triple H and DX stood over here, Isaac Hayes and... Big pun. I saw them in concert right here. And we're going up the steps to the Brotherly Love Card Show. Where I'd never been to a baseball card show before. So, uh, we're going to see how it is. Wrestling cards. You're selling wrestling cards? Yeah, it's all mine. They're not yours? They're mine, yours? Yeah, no, that's his. Mine's just below that. Yours is below. Yeah. So, people actually buy the wrestling cards. Yeah. They're the uh, they're the uh, rookie cards. 
So it's a 1982 Wrestling All Star set. And it's Hogan, Andre Giant, and Flair's rookie card. And like Jared King Lawler. Did you know? Yo, do you know what this is? WrestleMania 15. Oh, could be here. WrestleMania, WrestleMania 15 was 25 years ago. They had an event in this room where you could eat Chef Boyardee with Mick Foley mm. for $85. Who, who was the main event of 15? Rock Austin won. Well, I've never been to a card show. What should I... I, I mean... Are you buying anything? Eh, probably not. My, I mean, my tips on a card show. Walk around the room, see what everyone has. Um, definitely, you know, if you see someone have a few Mickey Mantles... I just like seeing expensive stuff that I can't buy. It, okay. It brings me joy. How, what's the most expensive card at your table? Uh, probably one of the Hulk Hogan or Ric Flair's. I price them high because I just know, like, I kind of want them. So. 3700 3300 Yeah. Dollars? It's, it's, or 33 dollars you just forgot to put the dot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. I don't know. I, how do you feel about people who just collect cards for the, the monetary, not the jewelry? Is uh, it? It's a business. I mean, is it? Yeah. You could. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of like that. Half. I mean, I do have some stuff like the wrestling. Is there a card that you own that you would never sell? Uh, I like LeBron. I have, a, I have a LeBron, a few LeBron rookies. It's weird. And, and you're in the Mummers. You know, he's he, I, you know, he's the commentator on the Mummers Day Parade. Someone just someone just stopped me today. And they said, "Hey, you the Mummers guy?" I said, "I met him working at the Phillies back in the day." His dad's in Mums too. What's your favorite Mummer song? Like, if you could hear one Mummer song perform. See, Heaven's Nose by Furco String Band? That's a good one. Dude, good. it's a banger. Furco's on her eyes. Um, you're putting me on the spot. I don't know. They're all, they're all overplayed in a way. <laughs> there's, well, there's some street songs. Um, oh, what's Greater Kensington does one. Ba, da, 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 da. Are you giving out bags or you had to buy something? You can give them. Thank you. Um, I don't know. Yeah. You don't have a favorite. Like, I... I Heaven knows by Furco is, is 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 it might be my favorite. I told the captain. Uh, any any good Furco to, street tune from like the nineties is pretty solid. They yeah, number there's rookie. You know what they do now is they sell jerseys in a shirt. Like they, you have one, do you have a jersey card? The wrong, not not an eagle though. But. Who's it? Oh, it's, oh, uh, you see people rip these cards open. So the thing is, is that some of these cards, like. Like this is this technically isn't game worn. There are cards that have game worn patches. Like so this is just a jersey. So it's just pretty much like a jersey that they say it of his. Like it doesn't say in the back. Like enclosed, player worn material, autograph. Like it's not game use. There's look how many people are in this room. It's huge. This is Alex. He's running this card show. This is my first card show, by the way. I'm so glad you're here. Be gentle. Yeah, Be a gentle yeah, yeah. What do you think so far? I, I can't believe how many people are here. Yeah. I'm uh, surprised on how many little kids are walking around with briefcases. Yeah, yeah. Little bastards. Yeah, yeah. they got more money than me. That's yeah. A, yeah. Yeah. What's, uh, what, what should I look for? What do you think I should look for? At my uh, for you, I think uh, a good introductory place to start in the hobby is memorabilia for you. So look for some Phillies memorabilia. Okay. Jerseys. They got signed helmets. So it's there. not just cards. It's not other. just cards. There's memorabilia too. How often do you throw these card shows? Uh, we throw these card shows about every two months. Uh, we do one in South Jersey on a rotating schedule and then uh, this location will probably go biannually or quarterly. Go walk around. Yeah. I, I appreciate you letting me come. And if people wanted to find out, what are you Brotherly Love Show in Jersey too? Yeah, BrotherlyLoveCardShow.com. Uh, we're in South Jersey and then this location at the PA Convention Center. Follow us on Instagram. That's where we're most active, at Brotherly Love Card Show. Okay. Um, and yeah, man, I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate Thanks you. So that. What, what, um, what's the most expensive card you've seen here so far? I saw a card that's probably... At least fifty to a hundred thousand dollars. There's a LeBron James gold rookie card to fifty BGS nine five. Uh, it's at Basketball Card Paradise's booth in the front of the room. One of the nicest cards you'll you'll see. Is there any like Mickey Mantle stuff or? Anything? There's definitely tons of Mickey Mantle. Yeah, <laughs> Go to, find some vintage cards, some old cards, and ask about some Mantle. Okay, so, I will. There you go. They have football helmets. Jeremy Shockey. Why would you want a Jeremy Shockey helmet? Kurt Warner. There he is. Whoa. 
Oh, Tito Santana. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. So this, this is the This is the suitcase you can buy to put your cards in. Wow. Look at that guy's carrying. First, I got to tell you one thing. I hate waking up in the morning now that you're gone. I just, it's not the same. And I miss you a lot. I wow. Miss, yeah, I miss you a lot. And I know Butchie, my friend Butchie from Maniunk, he retired from WIP because of you retiring. And we were wondering, me and Butchie were talking about you one day. What time do you get up in the morning now? Almost never before 8. Uh, and usually about 8.30. And I love it. And if Butch, if you get to see this, Butch, thank you for all the years of the great phone calls you made and the Flintstone songs and all the stuff you did. You are one of my favorite people. Yeah. And I wish you and all the people that were loyal to me to all those years. 33, uh, thank you. You gave me a great job for a really long time. And now you're not done working. Just because you, 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 you off the air, you wrote a book. Yes, I did write a book. That's it, it, the book. It's called Weld. And it reveals tons of inside secrets of what went on and doing the show. And I go back and rip all the people I hated one more time. You know what I love about, I, 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 I saw a podcast you did with right. somebody and they, you had it in your contract that you wouldn't talk to the big head honcho at WIP. Yeah. It's the truth. That's the best, so much respect. My boss couldn't talk to me and I got the clause in the contract that said that. It's in the book. Nothing but respect for you. Long live Angelo Cataldi. Thank you, Angelo. Thank you, buddy.